Hi, welcome back to another One Chart Lesson. Today I am going to address something that I've been asked about quite a few times. It's, it's why I play with my fingers. Now, I don't play all the time with my fingers, but probably 90% of the time when I play guitar, I don't have a pick. So I'm using my fingers. And probably the number one reason for that is the feel that I get using my fingers to me is a lot more direct and a lot more versatile than it is when I am using a pick. There are times when you want to use a pick. When you are strumming out a song that, you know, if you've got to strum heavily for three or four minutes and then do another song after that, you're going to wear your fingers down if you, if you actually don't have a pick. So sometimes, for heavy strumming, a pick is the go. Now, and also for, uh, for fast picking, there are... For that sort of picking, I have a fingernail on my right index finger, or on my strumming index finger if you're left-handed. Um, the, one of the best things I can suggest that you try is to grow the fingernail on your index finger on your strumming hand. It doesn't have to be hugely long, just has to be like a few millimeters, a couple of millimeters past the tip of your finger. So you have, in, a, in essence, a pick sticking out the end of your finger, right? It gives you that crisp picking attack that you can't get with the with the flesh of your fingertips. If you've got short, short fingers, like there's no fingernail to speak of on my second finger. So if I strum, if I pick the strings with that second finger, I don't get that attack that I do with that fingernail. So with that little tiny extra bit of fingernail on that finger, the world opens up for options for your strumming hand because you can not only still finger pick, but you can get a nice, a nice grab, a nice crisp grab on that string, or you can turn it into a pick. Now, if you're strumming kind of pick style with your hand, with your fingernail, both directions, you get that, you get that pick sound. If you're finger picking, then obviously that's that's good too. With the thumb, I also grow the nail just a little bit on the end. And like I'm not talking big long fingernails here. I'm talking you know a couple of millimeters on each of these nails. Make the world of difference for how you can grab those strings. When you're doing, if you're doing something like Travis picking. Your thumb can actually use a thumb pick and I'll show you in a moment the different sorts of picks you can use and why you would use them but if you've got a nail on your thumb you can use that too the thumb picks that I just referred to you can get all different cut types for your thumb the most common one is this sort of I don't know if you can see that very well this big old chunky plastic thing right and it goes on your thumb like that and that bit hangs out the side so you can get your pick going like that okay that's the most common one I find those kind of a bit bulky and and really stiff and kind of you know I never really enjoyed using those but I did find this pick which is the same shape made of a lighter more flexible plastic and this is your picking kind of tab that hangs off the side but as you can see it's a thin strip and it's got a couple of slots built in there so it actually flexes a lot more and you get a, a, a truer kind of softer feel on the on the strings so that is is my preference if I use a thumb pick which doesn't happen very often at all and as for my guitar picks you got you got to try them all out because there are a million different types of guitar picks thick thin fat small triangular shaped oval you know there's no limit there's no end to the the variations but for my money the one i am most used to and the one i've been using for years is a red dunlop p 
Tortex pick. I think it's like a 0.4 millimeter thickness. If, it, if that's not right, I'll put the measurement down below in the description. But it's a red Tortex pick. Just because I like it doesn't mean anyone else is going to like it. But that's my, that's my favorite pick. It's got enough flex in it that I can get a nice soft strumming feel. I can also pick reasonably quickly and get a lot of kind of feel through the pick. Whereas something that's a bit thicker doesn't give you that same flex and that same feel as, as a thinner pick does. But like I said, different strokes for different folks. A lot of the time when I use my thumb, I'm not using that nail. But sometimes it comes in handy. Also, if you're doing some heavy strumming, you can put those two fingers with the nails together and you get a little bit of extra strength and stability in those fingers and a little bit more kind of raspiness as well if you want that. So, so they're the reasons why I don't need a pick. Now the reasons why I would use my fingers in, in a kind of finger style playing is that you get something playing with your fingers that you cannot get with a pick and that is the independent use of your thumb. So for things like that that sort of it's called claw hammer if you do the claw hammer technique if you use your thumb on the lower strings and your fingers on the higher strings it can come it can a lot of people call it a claw hammer technique probably the most famous proponent of that technique is Mark Knopfler and you watch him play and he's doing this pretty much all the time he's the master of it now you can you, you can do that so many different ways it comes in handy for reggae now you see me do a strum like that as well that's yet another thing that you can do with your fingers that you can't really get with a pick so if you pick the bass note with your thumb and your your fingers can kind of splay out or, or, or flick out like you are flicking a piece of lint off your or flicking a bug off your knee if you like that sort of outward motion is a very relaxed natural and and highly controllable uh, action for your for your strumming fingers to do you just kind of flick downwards across the strings and it's like a strum but the beauty of that is that your thumb doesn't have to be doing that so your thumb can either anchor on the bass strings on the E string A string to give yourself a little bit of muting options for those lower strings sometimes when you're playing a C chord and you don't want to hear that bottom E string or an F chord and you don't want to hear either of those bottom two strings you can muffle them by resting your thumb there so having your thumb th free to do that is very, very handy as well. I'm telling you a lot of different things here about why I use my fingers instead of a pick, but there are a lot of different reasons and there are a lot of advantages to it. Having said that, your fingernail can also work as your pick. And you can, you can seamlessly blend from picking probably not as seamless as I would like to do it with if I had you know the application to do a little bit of rehearsal before I started filming this but you get the idea like you can move from picking to finger picking easily you don't need to stop and pick up a pick or drop a pick or do anything like that. So versatility is, you know, is the main reason that I would do that. The other reason is that, you know, you can just do all these things. And that's another one. That's another killer one that I like to do, especially during solos, if I'm improvising or doing solos. To, to grab those strings, to grab those strings and really dig into them, as opposed to with a pick, it's a slightly different sound, but it's a very different feel. Because when you're, when you're picking those strings, you can really dig into them and, and grab them and get some fret slap going on, that sort of stuff. 
but you can also grab more than one string at a time. I'm all over the shop as far as keys go there, but I'm trying to demonstrate this technique where your fingers allow you to do so many different things. Whatever you think of. That's why I use my fingers instead of a pick. So if you're looking for a summary, here it is. Grow a fingernail, short, long, whatever you like the feel of, grow a fingernail on your strumming index finger. Less optional, less useful, not less optional, less useful but also worth trying, grow a fingernail on your strumming thumb. And then practice doing whatever you want to do without holding a pick. It's that simple. If you want to strum, you strum. Flick your fingers. Flick your fingers down for a strum, drag them back up. I'm also strumming with these other fingers partially, but most of the load is taken by this fingernail in both up and down strums. And you can also try, you know, growing fingernails on here. Look at John Butler's right hand. Look at any like serious finger picker's right hand. And they've probably got long fingernails on, on almost all of their fingers there. But the index finger for your strums is really key. And also that will allow you to grab your finger like that, like a pick. And use it like a pick. I hope that's answered some of your questions. If you have any other questions, you know, I'm not an expert. This is just the way I play. But if you've got any questions, shoot them at me and I will do my best to answer them and, uh, and help you along your way to being a more versatile finger style player. Thanks for watching. See you here again soon.